Hi everyone, Letty here with this beautiful place. Tarot, how is everybody doing today? Today's reading is going to be what is hidden from you. So go ahead, like, share, subscribe to my channel. We're gonna do only two piles today. Pile one is gonna be the Rose Quartz. Pile two will be the Aventrine. Um, yeah, like, share, oh, hold on. I'm gonna have to switch my focus in a second. Um, I'm over here drinking coffee, y'all. you like my coffee mug, my Nintendo coffee mug. <laughs> oh my God. I hope everybody had a safe and beautiful New Year's. I did. It was my man's birthday. He's a Capricorn. And my brother's birthday was yesterday. So shout out to my Capricorns. It's your season. So that's what's up. I love Capricorn men, y'all. Love them. Oh my God. They're so good with their money. It's ridiculous. My man was up in bed reading and I was like, oh, what are you reading? He's like, oh, bills. <laughs> I said, reading bills, huh? Says the Capricorn to the Pisces. He's like, mm-hmm. He said, I'm reading my bills. I said, oh my goodness. He had his glasses on. So I got my air fryer on y'all if y'all hear stuff. That's um, my chicken. I got some fresh chicken I'm making for my lunch. All right, so let's get started. Um, what does what does pile one need to know? Like, share, subscribe to my channel, y'all. Keep in mind, Patreon gets these videos ad free and first. Um, shout out to Monet. Monet was Patreon's free reading winner. I love Monet. Monet, you have sent me so many clients. I definitely love you, girl. Shout out to Trudy as well. Okay, so what does Pile One need to know? Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, ancestors, Ama, Apa, Abuelos y Abuelas, only benevolent, only good spirits are to be here. No malefic, no trickster spirits, and no demons are to be here. Amen. I am happy, I am healthy, and I am wealthy. Amen. Okay, so let's do... um dark mirror shout out to lily with magdalene's craft she sent me these a while back um yeah so let's see what's going on for pile one what does pile one rose quartz need to know archangel michael let's get my evil eye protection out here all uh, evil eye ifa obia hoodoo and voodoo go back return to sender immediately amen Oh my goodness, coffee is life. All right, Archangel Michael, give me, give me two, please. Archangel Michael, what is going on with pile one? What do they need to be aware of at this time? What's going on with them? One, two, and three, I'm getting told. All right, um, this isn't a love-based reading, but at the end, if you guys want me to pull love, I can. Again, we're only doing two piles. We'll also see what the ancestors and the um, angels want to say, Archangel Michael, what is going on here? Pile one, I feel like you need to watch what people say around you. Um, I feel like there's a lot of deception right now. You know, um, I notice small things, y'all. I notice like people out here <laughs> that be like, oh, I'm a boss. I'm independent. I'm single and independent. But then they live at home with their mother. Okay. Um, <laughs> you're not a boss bitch. Okay. If you're living at home with your mom, I'm so sorry. You're just not, especially if you're in your thirties, forties and fifties. It's just not, that's just not what it is. Okay. Um, people who are out here faking the funk, like, come on, man. Like for real, I'd be noticing little shit. People be like, oh, I'm a natural be beauty. Okay, bitch. Don't you got your, your eyebrows microbladed? <laughs> Like, you got whole fucking eyebrows tattooed on you, and you're going to talk about you're a natural beauty. Like, come on, man. Shut the fuck up. Sit the fuck down, please. <laughs> I'll be noticing little shit. People be like, oh, I've known her for four years. You go and you look at the Instagram or whatever, the TikTok, and then you see, oh, in 2022, that he was still, like, following her from Glendale Heights. Like, come on, man. Stop lying out here. So little shit like that, pile one, you need to notice. You need to be aware of. <laughs> I 
I'd be like, okay, all right, go sit your monkey ass down. All right, here. Yeah, see, that's exactly what I'm talking about. You got people out here that be like, oh, I'm a, I'm a queen of cups. I'm a queen of pentacles, right? I'm a king of pentacles. I'll be working on my money, my stability. Bullshit. I'm loving. I'm giving. I'm kind. You're like, mm-hmm. Yeah, all right. People out here be like, oh, I just worked a 13-hour shift. They're skating the whole fucking shift. That's what we call it in the Navy, by the way. They're skating, right? That's when people pretend to be working. They ain't really working, all right? You be like, mm-hmm, okay. <laughs> I'd be like, mm-hmm. Go sit your ass somewhere. <laughs> Give me one, Archangel Michael. I got my ancestors laughing. Who, what do they need to know for pile one? What's going on with pile one? Yeah, two of cups. You got to watch people out here too, talking about that they're your, your twin flame and your soulmate. See? Ah, oh, you got to be careful out here, pile one. You got somebody out here saying that they're your twin flame or your soulmate. And I'm getting told, um, somebody may have done an amare on you. So amare for those who don't speak Spanish, right, is a is spell work, okay? And I'm hearing trabajo as soon as I flip this card over. So if you're a masculine out here, because this was the first card out, you could be a Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. I feel like um, somebody did spell work on you. So you need to sage, you need to Palo Santo immediately. Um, and I'll send it back, I'm getting told. Send it back, just like I did in the beginning. Send all that shit back, return to sender. Give me one spirit. Who's doing this spell work? Because I'm getting told it was heavy spell work done. Give me one. Who did it? A Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. An Aries, Leo, Sag. Or a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This is somebody who's younger than you because these are pages. Pile one. So a younger um, fire air or earth sign did this and then this is a night okay all right so this is what you need to be aware of right what's what's hidden from you let's see we'll keep going we'll keep going oh yep 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 that's what i thought so you have a uh, a jezebel spirit around you something that's around you to tempt you because we got naked before the stars and this was like that so 18, 1 plus 8 is a 9. Somebody here could be a life path 9. Um, something about like black lingerie too. Somebody who looks like this maybe has hair like that. Pile 1, you need to be careful of them because they have a Jezebel spirit on them. What else we got here? We got addicted. See, somebody here is addicting you. It could be a love spell, um, a sex spell. Thank you, spirit. They just said a sex spell. An amare. Somebody went and did a trabajo on you. I keep hearing it. Thank you, Grandma. I keep hearing it. Trabajo. Bottom of the deck. See? Triumph of lies. See? This is what's being hidden from you. It's like I said in the beginning, y'all. You got to watch people out here. You got to notice little shit about people. Okay? People be like, oh, I'm, I'm young and independent. I'm a boss bitch. But you live at home with your parents. Come on. Stop. You know, oh, I'm a natural beauty. You got your shit microbladed. Come on, shut up. <laughs> and I'm not trying to be petty. Like, I'm not trying to be a petty Betty, but, you know, stuff like that, you got to notice. Triumph of lies, see? So somebody is getting over on you is what I'm getting told, pile one. Um, Hold on, I'm getting told to pick up a different deck, y'all. Give me, Give me a second. Let's see who this is. I'm getting told to pick out archetype cards. To narrow it down so you know who this is who's around you all right go ahead like share subscribe to my channel keep in mind like i said um patreon gets these first the first part of this reading will not have love but um if you're asexual you're not into love readings then i will do i'll pull some love cards okay archangel michael who does pile one need to be aware of give me three spirit please I just heard you got an energy vampire around you, pile one. You got you to gotta remember this, guys, okay? Um, Say your psalm. Say Psalm 23. That's the first thing I'm getting told. 
You know, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they guide me. Uh, you led me down to fresh waters. I lie in fresh pastures all the days of my life. I don't know, something like that. Um, Psalm 23 is what I'm getting told. You need to remember. Um, okay, I'm getting told you got an energy vampire around you. They're stabbing you in the back. That's, you know, if you get the feeling like pains, guys, in your back, that's a good indication that you have spell work on you. Some of y'all need to go see a Reiki master. I'm getting told. Um, I've said this on my Instagram. I don't know if I've said it here on my channel on YouTube. When you, when you get Reiki, you know, they move around that energy and you could get really sick if you have spell work on you. I don't know why I need to go over that, but pile one, if you're watching me, you need to get some Reiki done on you so they can remove all the cords. Thank you. Somebody here has Draco cords, draconian cords. You might need to, okay, do a guided meditation to remove it. Pile one, tools for ascension. Look up tools for ascension on YouTube. He has great guided meditations to help with that. You have draconian cords on you. Okay. Archangel Michael, please give me three. Who is around? I keep hearing uh, energy vampire. They're sucking your energy out of you for pile one. Comment down below if you know you've got spell work on you. Child wounded. So somebody has childhood issues, abandonment issues. You know, if you're really nervous or anxious, that's a good indicator too that you have childhood wounds, pile one. And you have trauma stuck in your body. Femme fatale. See, I can't make this up. What I say, you got a Jezebel spirit around you. And she's doing sex magic on you. Naked before the stars. Could be an Aquarius because we have stars here. Pile one. A femme fatale. That's who you have around you. This is a incubus succubus spirit. They're saying Jezebel to me though. Jezebel spirits are really different from incubi and succubi. They're really subtle. They're way more subtler than an incubus and succubus spirit. Bottom of the deck. Artist. See? Somebody who's pretending to be an artist. <sighs> Expressing a dimension of life that is just beyond the five senses. Inspiring others to see life symbolically. Shadow attribute. Using talent as an excuse to mistreat others. Posing as a starving artist to elicit pity. Okay, so women, 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 women. If you have a narcissist around you, okay, one of, one of the games, right, that a narcissist does is they like people to have pity for them, okay? Especially men out here that are narcissists. They like to be like, oh, um, they do a whole blamer alert. So insert a name here. It doesn't matter the name, right? Oh, so-and-so kicked me out of my house. So-and-so treated me bad. I was with her for 10 years and she's my baby's mama. They don't take accountability for anything, okay? And that's why I'm remembering this because they like to elicit pity, all right? They like to be like, oh, my car needs to get fixed. You know what I'm saying? So they always got a fucking sob story. Just remember that because you have an addict around you and it's somebody that I'm getting told gossips a lot. Now they're telling me to look at the card below it. Gossips a lot. This person gossips a lot about other people. This could be a feminine too. A femme fatale. She likes to talk shit about people. Um, Hold on. Hold on. She might have a tattoo on her back. She might have a lot of tattoos. Okay, Spirit said they might have a lot of tattoos. So somebody here is child wounded. Let me read this, y'all. Blames all dysfunctional relationships on childhood wounds. Okay, what I say, pile one, either you are a narcissist or you got a fucking narcissist around you. Resists moving on through forgiveness. Watch people out here. I'm telling you, watch watch these grown-ass adults that be like, oh, I live at home with my parents. 
What the fuck? What are you doing living at home with your parents? <laughs> You're in your 60s. You know what I'm saying? Triumph of lies. So this is a gossip. You got a gossip around you? I'm hearing this are two or more people around you. Pile one. This is what you need to know right now. All right. So that's for my asexual people. Let's see for those who are in love. Because I'm getting that you have a narcissist around you. Pile one. That likes to lie a lot. Likes to be a blamer. Blamer alert. <laughs> they like to blame people. Oh, so-and-so fucked me over. So now my whole life is shit. You're like, okay, G. You're like 60 years old. Take some fucking accountability for yourself. Mm -hmm. What's going on here? But definitely you got spell work on you, pile one. And um, I'm hearing you got Draco cords on you. So you're going to have to get them removed. You're going to have to do guided meditation because that's what these are. These are Draco cords. And if you've been watching me for a while, you know, I've talked about all this stuff for a long time. So hopefully you're not just waking up. <laughs> but if you are, you know, hey, as long as you're waking up. Give me three. Archangel Michael, please. What is going on? What do they need to know for pile three? Okay, right here. Am I taking that? No. The chaser. Fear of abandonment. Chasing. Codependent. Yeah. So, <sighs> pile one. You might be a chaser in a codependent relationship because you have childhood wounds. Okay? If you feel like you're always chasing love. Let's let's go there. You might have fear of abandonment or codependency issues. All right. There's a number of ways you can heal. Okay. You could get a journal. You can talk to yourself as a child. Um, but somewhere, somehow, somebody abandoned you. And I'm getting told it was both your mother and your father. Um yeah, they did not know how to take care of you. Now, somebody here, you might need to do a a regression, okay? And here's why. Somebody here, you were in the womb and you felt like your parent, your mother, didn't want you. That's for somebody. I'm getting told you have abandonment issues since you were a child in the womb. Because... They're pointed out to me wounded, and I'm hearing womb as I'm reading this, guys. So when you were in the womb, your mom's womb. Okay, give me another one, spirit. Addiction. Look at this, guys. I can't make up the cards, y'all. Look it. We got addiction twice. If you feel like you constantly have to have sex, guys, I'm getting sex addiction here. Okay, you need to do a, a sacral chakra cleansing. You need to align your sacral chakras. Addiction. Look at it. It came out twice, guys. This isn't just drugs and alcohol. This could also be sex addiction. Codependent, obsession and restraint, possess possessive and control, emotional blocks. You might have an emotional block, meaning your heart chakra might be closed. You definitely need to do some work on your chakras, pile one. This is what's hidden from you. There's tons of shit on YouTube, guys. Do it. You got to do the work. You watching, you know, a reading isn't going to help you if you're not like taking notes and doing the work. Codependent obsession. You're, you're codependent probably on this femme fatale, on this Jezebel spirit. Is what I'm getting told, if, especially if you're a masculine watching me. And she knows she did a trabajo on you. She, this bitch is a gossip. She knows this is this is a, a demon. That's what she was put here to do, is what I'm getting told. Bottom of the deck, we got shock. Sudden change, shocking news, surprise, and epiphany. See? For somebody here, this you're like, okay, it's starting to make sense. 
you're watching me, you're like, shit, this is starting to make sense. So you need to go and do a chakra cleanse and you need to do some guided meditations on how to cleanse your, your past life wounds. I'll leave some links down below. Tools for Ascension is great, guys. And to remove these cords, you definitely need to do this. You definitely need to get rid of these cords on you. Because it's siphoning your energy. Thank you, Spirit. They're saying that it's siphoning your energy. See? It's siphoning your energy. Whatever this is, this thing is. <sighs> Give me another one, Spirit. I want a love card, please. I want a more love-centered card. Okay. Cards are creasing. Give me one. On my left hand side, please, Archangel Michael. Self indulgence, see? Self worth and value. Time to heal. Shadow work. You need to do shadow work, pile one. Self appreciation. You need to do shadow work. Shadow work is never fun, guys. It's never fun. I watch, um, you guys know I've talked about this a lot. I watch a lot of Damien Echoes. And what he talks about with shadow work is basically it's just us not being assholes, right? But when you when you start doing the work with shadow work, you start to dive deep into your psyche. And you get to find out why you get triggered, why certain things trigger you. Why do you run, right, in a codependent relationship? Why do you chase in a codependent relationship? Because this is what allows these demons to latch onto you tighter. This is what allows you to become addicted. You know, I talk a lot about like my experiences with my guy or my brothers or whoever because we have these talks. Like I tell my guy, you know, I'm like, here, here's a mojo bag. I'll keep it in your car. You know, and he'll be like, what's this for? And I'll tell him, oh, I'm getting hit with spell work. You know, I'm on YouTube and I get hit with spell work. So he, he listens to me. He's not an idiot. He's like, okay, well, let me just put it in my car. If not for anything to give me peace of mind, me, you know, his girlfriend. So somebody here, you need to listen. I'm getting told you've been, you've been told you've been warned about this shit and you're not doing anything. So I don't know. I don't know what it's going to take for you to wake up. You're not doing the work is what I'm getting told. Some of y'all are. Some of y'all are, but some of you are not. Okay. What's going on in relationships? But somebody here, definitely, you have a narcissist around you. And narcissists are abusers, guys. Give me three, please. Archangel Michael. What's going on here in this situation? Ship one. Two. This is just for added confirmation and love, guys. There is no one else I'm thinking about all day. This femme fatale could have told you that recently. I want to take care of you the way you've always taken care of me. So if a narcissist told you that recently, <laughs> this is just added confirmation. I think that you are better off without me. Again, blamer. Blamer alert. Right? They don't want to take accountability here. Okay. All right. For added confirmation, they're telling me to pick up this deck. Just give me three, Spirit. And then we'll go into angel wishes, and then that'll be it. Like, share, subscribe to my channel, guys. For pile one, what else do they need to hear? What's being hidden from them? Okay. We'll do these. Okay. Nobility lineage. You have a nobility lineage. So you could have been, I'm getting told Aztec or Mayan here. You could have had nobility. This is just added confirmation. You're an athlete, football, soccer, tennis, basketball, hockey, etc. Jealousy, mom side, the mom, your mom side of your family is toxic. Could also be your mother. Pile one. Mental health, mom side. If you have mental health issues, it's coming from your mom's side. Pile one. And now with athlete, I would also say working out. Because, you know, people who work out, they get athletic. Mental health. Yeah. Um, pile one, you got to look at your mental health. That's what's being hidden from you. You might need to 
um what's that called spirit you might need to get like a therapist or something help you out i'm getting told you've been told this pile one i don't know you got a um okay i was gonna say an ancestor you got an archangel around you that's like hey i've been telling them you know y'all y'all come to these readings right because you want to hear messages from from my archangels or my ancestors when y'all need to be tapping in Tap in. Give me, give me two, please, Archangel Michael. One, two, okay. So you have a major mission, yeah, pile one. This is why these, these entities, these Jezebel spirits have latched onto you. You have a major mission. It wants to stop you. You hang out with the same bitches they talk about. Some of y'all are gossips too. You got to watch it. Y'all are starting to gossip and you're starting to hang around your fucking crew. And you're starting to turn into these people. You hang out with the same bitches that you talk about. Uh, I never understood that shit. All right. Like, share, subscribe to my channel if this is resonating. <laughs> this is what's being hidden. I, I feel like y'all y'all wanted to hear about other people around you and y'all are getting told about yourselves with this. Give me two, please. Archangel Michael. What's going on here? Family is everything. Always make sure you acknowledge this. Yeah, you got stuff going on in your family's your family's lineage. Jealousy, mom side. Mental health, mom side. Your mom might be a gossip too, I just heard, for pile one. This ain't nothing you don't know. Shit. Your mom might be a gossip. We got, <clears throat> while you have a pulse, make every beat of your heart count. Yeah, some of y'all need to do chakra cleansing. And pile one was the rose quartz. You need to open up your heart chakra. All right, guys. That was what you need to know. What's being hidden? Mm -mm -mm. We're only doing two for this. Thank God. <laughs> Thank God. I'm only doing two for this. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Pile two. Pile two. What is being hidden from you? Hopefully, you're only coming to one pile. Shout out to Monet, Monet One, Patreon's free reading. Archangel Michael. Give me three, please. What does what does pile two need to know? Shout out to Magdalene's Craft. Lily, she sent me these a while back. Give me three. Two. And three. What's being hidden, spirit? from pile two i'm hearing your nutrition needs to improve pile two somebody here you're like malnourished you're not eating right you're not eating i don't know i just heard carb deficit protein intake i don't know um you're not fucking eating though right you're trying to lose weight yeah i mean i you know, it's the new year. I understand you got goals, right? But I'm saying somebody here, you're, um, yeah. Okay. Give me three, please. Archangel Metatron. What do they have to watch out for? Archangel Metatron is here. We got judgment. You're under judgment right now. Huh. You're under judgment right now. You got some karma coming to you. Pluto will move into Aquarius. Hold on. January 20th. Damn. Hold on a second, guys. When Pluto moves into Aquarius on January 20th, it's going to stay there for like 25 years, guys. Pluto is almost as harsh as Saturn, but not not quite. But it is, um, you know, the planet of death and rebirth. So some of y'all are going to come under some judgment. 
when that happens on January 20th, you'll know, you'll know, hold on a second. You'll know if some start, some stuff starts going a little bit haywire at the wayside. Okay. Pile two, bottom of the deck. They're telling me ace of coins, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, the, hold on a second. The universe, God is trying to give you a opportunity to make it right. This is what you need to know. This is what's being hidden right now. Some of y'all need to start channeling your archangels and your ancestors. I'm getting told. Um, bottom of the deck, seven of swords. Seven of swords. If you have been lying, you're going to come under heavy judgment. First card out is always the strongest in tarot. You could be a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or an Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. You're coming under heavy judgment. Pluto is moving into Aquarius. Huh, I got to look that up. I don't know what's going on with that. That's what I heard. Okay. You got masquerade. Yeah, somebody around you is wearing a false self mask. Somebody, or this is you, is lying. Somebody is lying around you, or this is you. I feel like y'all are coming here to find out what other people are doing to you, but it's it's actually you. I don't know who that's for, but that's what I'm hearing. Hiding your true self. See, you're 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 wearing a mask. What I just say, guys. 16 1 plus 5 is a 6, life past 6. 14 1 plus 4 is a 5. The numbers are descending because I picked up this card first and then this one. So something about your money, you need to watch your money. Your money is going to go down. Somebody watch out for a pay cut, I'm getting told. Hiding your true self masquerade. Somebody here is hiding who they are. Um, Somebody here has a twin, I'm getting told. They have a twin out here. Either a real one or, you know, a twin flame. Somebody is lying to you also about being your twin flame, I'm getting told. We'll pull love in a, in a second. If you're asexual, you don't have to watch it, right? You can leave the reading when I pull out the, the love cards. Because some of y'all be like, I'm not in love with nobody. I don't want to hear no love shit. I'm just letting you know now. Some people do like to know about their love life. Some people are out here fucking, Tracy. <laughs> some people like to fuck. You know what I'm saying? We like, you know, we be in love with people. Shit. Hiding your true self. Yeah, somebody here is hiding their true self. They're definitely fucking wearing a mask around you. I'm getting told for some of y'all, this is you. Y'all y'all have been lying a lot. I'm getting like pathological liar around here. And somebody's going to get judgment. If y'all been watching me for a while, you know I've talked about this. Somebody is year of the monkey. In the Chinese Zodiac. I know people have got 10 years of bad luck, y'all. It, it is not nice. What I say about a twin out here, guys. Look at y'all. See, I just randomly picked these cards. Somebody has a twin. That's, that's an indicator of who this is that's lying around you. They're a twin. Whether they talk to that motherfucker or not, don't matter. Today for tomorrow... Somebody is also trying to impersonate you is what I'm getting told. Oh, me? Oh, somebody's trying to impersonate me. I'm getting told. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that might be for you. It might be for me. I'm getting told it's for me. 32, 3 plus 2 is another 5. So fives are about <clears throat> changes and challenges. And that's right under judgment, guys. This is what's being hidden from you. This is what you need to know at this time. Pile two, if you if you think this might be you, I would pray. I would pray immediately to God, to your ancestors, to your archangels. Because somebody, somebody, you've been lying a lot. Today for tomorrow. And if you're a twin, then that's added confirmation. Because we got two twin cards here. <sighs> Damn. 
Damn. All right, let's keep going. Let's get this deck. My spirit guides are telling me this deck. What does pile two need to know, please? What's being hidden from them? Wow. We got five, five, and six. Five, five, and six. Crazy. Definitely changes and challenges. Somebody is definitely a life path five here or a life path six. If you're a life path six, you're a healer and an empath. You need to start doing some shadow work. All right. Give me Archangel Michael for added confirmation. Give me like five cards, please. This is just random stuff you need to know, guys. Or just random confirmation. One. Okay, they're telling me all of that. Okay. Oh, they're telling me to pick again in the middle. Damn. This is more than five. Okay. Some of y'all are around people with religious dogmas. Um, real pious people, I'm getting told. This could be your family. This could be your parents. This is who could be fucking wearing masks. So, <laughs> I used to watch Joyce Myers. If y'all ever know me, you know, I used to be a Christian for 10 years. I used to watch Joyce Myers, right? I got her books, all that shit, right? And she would say about how... You know, you be fighting with your with your spouse, right? People be like, motherfucker, da 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 da, bitching, yelling, and then as soon as like your pastor knocks on your door, you be like, oh, hi, brother. <laughs> Aren't we all just uh, loving the Lord? <laughs> she used to say that. She used to say, you know, you you act real quick. You change up how you act real quick when your pastor, or your preacher comes to your fucking door. But before that, you're a nightmare. <laughs> I'm getting that with this masquerade card. Somebody here, they're a fucking nightmare. And they try to be all pious. I don't know who that is, but mm, they're bringing it to my zone of awareness. You're an empath, a psychic. Yeah. Yeah, what I say. Somebody with a life past six, you're a psychic or a healer. And you probably grew up with this shit. Like, yeah, my mom or my dad is a fucking religious hypocrite doing shadow work. Some of y'all, what I say, I can't make up what I channel, guys. I just said it not even, go rewind. I said it not even five seconds ago. Somebody here needs to do shadow work. Or you're doing it. I don't know. Maybe you're a psychic or an empath and you're starting to do your shadow work. If you are, great. This is a nice guy or girl, LGBTQ. Yeah. Somebody here... I'm getting told somebody's on the down low. Could be one of your religious parents. I don't know. I just give the messages, y'all. Somebody here is like on the down low. Maybe it's you because you're wearing a mask. You're hiding your true self, guys. Stop hiding your true self. You know, like I said, I used to be a Christian for 10 years. But when you start going to church, they'd be like, oh, you can't, you can't divinate. And I used to be like, why the fuck not? I'm like, you guys ain't reading the whole fucking scripture. You're not reading the whole book. You know, it doesn't, it never stopped me from being a psychic, from being an empath, me going to church. Somebody here, you need to hear that because you're a whole psychic and the religious shit got you living a double life. I don't know who that's for. You need to hear it though. Hot girl. Hot boy, I don't know. You're probably um what's this about spirit? Some of y'all you have identity issues. Wow. Okay. What's this about spirit? Okay, so they started off telling me about malnourished, right? Okay. Somebody here, you want to be a hot boy or a hot girl, but in your head you're still like a fat boy or a fat fat girl. I don't know what's this about, spirit. Hold on, hold on, guys. Um, they were talking to me about being malnourished. Some of y'all are like not eating right. Somebody here might also have like an eating disorder because you want to be hot. You're not your true self. Spirits like they're not their true self. You're coming under judgment. God, they keep saying it to me. You're coming under judgment. January 20th. I don't know. 
names J, K, and L. If that's your name, look, add a confirmation, J, K, and L. We got cancer, smoking, liver, pancreas, etc. Um, pile two, you might need to go get screened for cancer. I just heard leukemia. What's that about spirit? They keep bringing me back to this card, y'all. Lies. Yeah, somebody hear you lie. That's why you have on a false mask. We already have Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords is the liar, the stealer, and the cheater in tarot. See how he's getting stabbed? But what's he getting stabbed by? In this picture, it looks like a, a dinosaur is stabbing him. Something about your age. Somebody's out here lying about their age. Something to do with their age. I don't know because I'm they're they're telling me about the dinosaur. Somebody here you lie a lot. Somebody came from pile one. Somebody's gonna start getting under heavy judgment. I'm hearing some of y'all say that ain't me, that's somebody else. Look, I don't want to hear shit in my comments. I'm getting told it's you because you're watching me. And if you're a twin. This shit's at a confirmation. Your name is JK and L. You've been lying a lot. You're a liar, you're a stealer, and you're a cheater. You need to go for a screening for cancer. You think you're a hot boy or a hot girl? That shit ain't cute. <laughs> I just heard that shit ain't cute. You're an empath and a psychic. How you know I'm talking to you is if you have gut or stomach problems. Empaths and psychics, we're sensitive, right? So we take on energy, but we learn how to transmute it. Like I transmute energy all day long. So if you have gut problems, that's how you know you're an empath. You need to start doing shadow work. If you are doing shadow work, good. Keep doing it. This is a nice boy or girl. Somebody here is LGBTQ and you're lying about it. So if somebody here, you're on the down low. If you're a masculine watching me, you're a fucking, you're a religious hypocrite. You're fucking dudes on the side or meeting up with dudes. Ooh, wee. You're meeting up with dudes and they're sucking your dick. Look, I just give the fucking messages, okay? Ah, Y'all like my Nintendo book? I do. I do. All right. If you are asexual and you don't want to hear about love, you may exit the reading now because now i'm gonna pull love shit welcome by i'm hearing that doja cat bitch i said what i said hmm bitch i said what i said you rather be famous instead somebody here rather be famous welcome by what's going on for pile two spirit mm -hmm. Ooh, we Pluto is moving into Aquarius. Damn, I gotta look at that transit. Shit, give me three, please, Archangel Metatron. I got an ancestor laughing in my ear. Separation, huh? As I'm showing y'all my coffee cup, as I'm showing y'all my coffee cup, come on through, spirit guides. Pile two, coffee cup. This is the love portion. Meeting and talking, savoring the moment, feeling elevated, building a friendship. Some of y'all are lying to people out here. You you lying to friends. You're lying to a romantic interest out here. Stop it. I'm here. I'm getting told to tell y'all. Stop it. Engagement ring. Some of y'all want to get married. Higher commitment, eternity, partnership and union, completion. You feel like this is going to complete you? Somebody here, what I say, you're a down low male, right? Somebody here is a religious hypocrite. They're a down low male, but they want to marry a female. Look, I, I know people that do this, okay? I know whole gay men who are married to straight women. And these straight women are lying to themselves because we look, we look at the guy and we're like, does she not know he's fucking gay or what? That's how, that's how delusional some people are out here. 
They'll be married to a whole fucking gay, gay, flamboyantly gay as well. LGBTQ non-binary is always welcome on my channel. You guys know I always say that. But, yeah. Somebody is going to fucking marry a, a fruitcake, and I'm going to say it, right? Because I'm bisexual, so I don't care. But a woman out here, you're going to marry a whole fucking gay dude. Because you want to be married. But you're lying to yourself. Or he's lying to you. Somebody's fucking lying here. Welcome by. Bitch, I said what I said. She says, I'm a demon lord. Somebody here's a whole fucking demon. Because this is what she's wearing too in one of, the, in one of those video scenes. Doja Cat. Y'all haven't seen that video. Go look at that video. It's fucking demonic as fuck. Bitch, I said what I said. Y'all rather be famous instead. Separation, sadness, bitterness, missing you, thinking about you, uncertain future. Somebody here has codependency issues. You need to do shadow work. Because you don't want to separate from somebody you're codependent from. Sadness, bitterness, missing you. Somebody's telling you they're missing you. They're lying. <laughs> I keep coming back to this card. They're lying. Watch out for any exes trying to come back. We're still in Mercury retrograde until when, spirit? Like January 10th? They're telling me January 10th. Kind of kind of like the 6th, but they're telling me the 10th. We're still being the shadow phase. At time of recording, I think today's the 5th or the 6th. I don't know. One of these days was my brother's birthday. Shout out to my Capricorns. This is what you need to know right now. This is what's being hidden from you. Damn. Spirit ain't playing with y'all. <laughs> January is going to be a tough fucking month. <laughs> That's all I got to say. If you're not out here doing the work, man, January is going to be rough. Some of y'all are psychics and empaths. Y'all better get up on your on your gifts. I don't know why y'all be coming to me, watching my shit, when y'all need to be channeling spirits yourself, your ancestors. But some of y'all don't want to do the work, I'm getting told. Shout out to my other tarot card readers. Give me, um, give me three spirit. What's going on here for love? I hope our paths will cross again in the future. Yeah, this is somebody that you separated from. Be careful. They're going to try to come back. I'm getting told. Pile two. This motherfucker's going to try to come back on some cool shit. I'm going to be like, uh-uh. Stay away from me. Stay away from me because you're going to have some bad karma. Keep people away from you too that you know have bad karma. That's another message. Pile two. If you know people are going to have bad karma, be like, uh-uh. Nope. Don't touch them. Don't be around them. Cause they're just gonna bring you uh bad karma you know when you when you separate from people and your life starts getting better guys <laughs> that's god that's that's the universe telling you you did good you cut that motherfucker off great stay separated i hope our paths cross again no you're a liar a cheer a cheat and a thief i'm good i'm straight over here I'm straight over hee hee. I'm good. Engagement ring. Somebody's going to be like, oh, I could have married you or some shit. You're the one that got away, I just heard. I don't know. That weird shit. Love, spirit. Give me a message, please, on my left-hand side. I do love you, just don't know how to show you right now. Yeah, watch for these uh, Casanovas, I'm getting told, who like to love bomb you. If y'all don't know what love bombing is, it's it's basically when people come in real hot and heavy, right? In the beginning of a relationship, the first six months. Oh, I could grow old with you. Oh, we could get an RV and travel the fucking country. Get the fuck out of here, man. Like, come on. I'm still trying to see how you move out here. And I'm noticing that you're a fucking liar and a cheat. And you're even on websites with trannies and you're like low-key gay. So don't... Who the fuck you lying to out here? I'm a whole empath and a psychic. Okay, dum dum. I don't know who needs to hear that, but somebody you're you're around some false fucking people. People or this is you. 
people who are hiding their true self. And I'm getting this is sexually because we got LGBTQ out here. I don't make up shit out here, guys. The cards are backing up everything I say. Somebody, you're coming under heavy judgment. And when Pluto goes into Aquarius on the 20th, bitch. You, I hope you light, light, lit your velas. I hope you did all that shit because it's going to hit you hard. Coffee cup spirit. Meeting and talking. Savoring the moment. <laughs> What's going on here on top of judgment? And today for tomorrow. This isn't over between us. I'm coming back for you. What did I say? I'm channeling the same shit that I'm fucking pulling the cards for, guys. I make nothing up. I told you, somebody's going to try to come back. Hey, let's have some coffee. No, motherfucker, I can have coffee in my house. I'm good. I'm straight. I have my little Nintendo mug. I'm straight. I don't need to go out with you and have shit with you. Stay away from these people, pile two. They're not who they say they are, and they're a twin. I'm good. I'm Gucci. I'm happy. I'm healthy, and I'm wealthy. Stay the fuck over there. <laughs> my spirit team is like stay the fuck over there don't come over here don't come over here with that bullshit don't come knocking on my motherfucking door your ass gonna get recorded and that stupid hoe is gonna find out who you really are I'm, look somebody's gonna get exposed too in the month of January that's what you need to know that's what's being hidden from you they're being, they're being exposed out here for the lies and the cheats and the stealers that they are <clears throat> I'm glad I only did two piles, y'all. <laughs> All right. I love y'all. Shout out to Monet for winning the free one hour reading with me on Patreon. Patreon gets these videos ad free and first. I'm going to do some more 18 plus content. I love y'all. Take care. Bye bye. Bye bye.